Hey guys, it's Evan Harrell with Remax Elite Realty. I'm stoked about where I'm at tonight, my hometown, my Franklin, North Carolina. I'm at the Macon County Historical Museum. I'm going in here to see Greg Clark, Where Shadow Walks Ghost Tours. He's going to give us some in-depth history about Franklin and see what kind of cool facts we can find out about Franklin. Let's go have a look. All right, we're inside now here with Greg Clark, Where Shadows Walks Ghost Tours. Greg, how long have you been doing the ghost tours here in Franklin? This is our fifth year. It's hey. your fifth year. Okay. Now tell me, you were telling me an interesting fact a few minutes ago. Tell me what your, your full-time job is. I'm an eighth grade English and history teacher at Macon Middle School. This is my 13th year. Okay, so you've actually got two full-time jobs, a school teacher and a ghost tour. Absolutely. Is, is it so much ghost tours or, or exactly what, what should somebody expect when they come to see you? Where Shadows Walk Historic Ghost Tours are the best of the best of both worlds, I like to say. When you come to a Where Shadows Walk Historic Ghost Tour, whether you're coming to the Haunted Homes or whether it's downtown Franklin, whether it's Woodlawn Cemetery, you're getting the bloody battles. You're getting what haunts the halls of a certain house. You're getting what president walked from here to there. You're getting who said what. You're getting the final surrender of the American Civil War in May of 1865. But you're also getting with that rich history, you're getting the little girl spirits that often tug on beds. You're getting the little entities that like to pick dogs up by the back of their legs and pull them across the, the, the floor. And so if you're coming to a Where Shadows Walk Historic Ghost Tour, you're going to get, like I said, the best of the best. You're going to get the dark and completely true history of Franklin, North Carolina. But you're also going to get the fantastic ghosts, legends, myth, and lore, more than we can possibly fit into two and a half hours on each tour. So the tours are two and a half hours? We advertise the tours as two hours long, but we rarely finish a tour until it's about two and a half hours. Okay. It's just too much material. Okay, and basically they just contact you through the website? Our website, whereshadowswalk.com. The different tours that are available will pop right up. You can click on the one that you want, and you just book it right there. And one of the things that just truly interests me is it's not somebody jumping out of a bush with a chainsaw trying to scare you. It's not, you know, it's not a haunted house deal. It's actually true history of what we've got going on here in Franklin. And it's something to come out and explore and get to know what Franklin's about. Anybody can put on a mask. Anybody can start up a chainsaw. Anybody can walk around with a hatchet and a machete and scream at you. What we offer to our guests is a rich, in-depth, detailed history lesson of the Southern Appalachian Mountains, specifically Franklin, North Carolina, on this tour. So we strive not to be like the haunted houses. We try to be something different, something real. Greg, I want to thank you for having us out. I mean, it's been a walking history book of information that you've got stored. I know you and Pauletta have done a, a lot of research and a lot of hard work, and you poured your heart into it. And I, and I urge people to come out and hear what you and her has to say. You need to come out and see Greg. He, he's got more information than, than I can put to you. But this is my hometown, my Franklin, North Carolina. If you want to talk anything about real estate, come see me. Uh, if you want to talk about anything West North Carolina, happy, happy to talk to you also. Look me up at evanherald.com. Talk to you soon.